Hello YouTubers, Alan Lindsley here, and today's video will be on how life is not perfect. And what I mean by that is, you know, when it, as it comes to taking your dream vacation, you may not have the perfect situation. You might not have, you know, everything is, you know, perfectly scheduled, finances are in order, everything's well with family, everything's well with, you know, your, your business, with whatever you got going on with your life. But I encourage you to work very hard every day to accomplish your goals. And eventually, and I'll tie it into world travel and traveling multiple countries, not, not just for a weekend or so. I'm talking like like five, six months, maybe a year, maybe two years. And the type of person that you have to become to be able to do that is extraordinary because, you know, not many people can do it. I'll be honest. You know, I mean, there's a difference between the single traveler. He has a lot more flexibility and room than, say, a, a family of like six. You know, not to say a family of six can't go off and take a year vacation, but it's just going to take a lot more time, preparation, planning, a lot more work in order to make that happen. Just because, you know, it's not just one person, it's six people. And in order to do that, six plane tickets, that's six places to stay, that's six, you know, people you got to feed for three meals a day over a long period of time. That's why you see large families they only take like maybe you know a couple weeks which is totally fine i'm not saying you know anything against it for it but i'm just saying you as an individual can actually if you incorporate the biggest things and that is your use of time and not wasting time and just see what you can accomplish if you have a family of six and you accomplish an extraordinary you know goal or task that you set out say say you, you want to take a family of six and take a year vacation and visit six or seven different countries you know if you achieve that goal at the end of the day you know you know you are the man or you are the woman or you are the the couple that that made that happen and and it's just extraordinary because you know the amount of time, preparation, work, the stuff you're going to have to learn to be able to just accomplish something like that is amazing. And, you know, just, just like, you know, it doesn't have to even be world travel. You know, I'm just using that because that's what I'm showing on my show and use it as an example. And, you know, I, this is like day for me, you know, I've taken a five month vacation. This is you know, it's going on two and a half months into the vacation, and last night was amazing. You know, the hard work, the preparation, the planning that I put into it to be able to take a five-month vacation, and then last night I enjoyed the evening with friends, and it was amazing. And that's, that's what you work so hard to accomplish, is you just, you work your, your tail off each and every day. Each, you, you, you hit it hard. You plan, you, you freaking, and whatever your goal is, if it's to build a business, build a family, you know, maybe the community, get involved with the church, whatever it is, you can take it just to the astronomical level. And I encourage you to do so. And, and what I mean is, you know, your use of time. You know, you get up, I suggest getting up early, you know, that way you give yourself more time, you know, if, if you don't work the weekends, you know, maybe, maybe work the weekend, you know, you might have a couple years, two, three, five years to where, okay, you are working hard, you are busting your tail, you know, it's not as fun, you know, as, as you see, like, people on vacation, like, maybe myself, you know, you see me taking five-month vacation, and you're going to work every day, you know, hey, you're like, wow, why can't I do that? Well, you can, you know, but that's what I did before I took the five-month vacation. I freaking busted my tail and worked for years. This was not an overnight thing at all. Not at all. I'm talking classes, multiple classes, 
for years just studying, reading, research, just to be able to build up the confidence to do something like that. And and that's what I mean. It just builds your character so much when you do do something like this, like taking a five month vacation to three or four different countries halfway across the world. Because if you make a mistake, every little mistake, I mean, you lose your passport. I mean, you're, you're pretty, you know, your, your trip's not done, but you know, you're not going to have a fun time. You're going to be trying to talk to the embassy to get a new passport. And that takes time, probably money. You got to figure it all out. So, I mean, every little step, you know, there could be natural disasters. There could be stuff going on with, with the country that's beyond your control. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. Don't worry about the stuff that's not within your control. Worry about the stuff you can control. And you can control, you know, getting your passport. You can control buying your plane ticket, what day you fly, all of that. And you get off and you do the work, you achieve these things to where you can travel multiple countries. If you want to want to go to India for a month, you do it, even though it took you maybe half a year to do the research and, you know, plan everything out. Because, you know, if you, if you don't do those things, you're just going to get to India and then you're going to have trouble or, you know, just problems somewhere to where you plan your trip out and you accomplish this, this task and be a world traveler if you can do it. Because, you know, just to be able to save the money, to have the finances, to be able to do something like that, because, you know, you're not working. It, I, it, not to say you can you know, it depends on the person, too. You could go and travel and make, you know, a, a huge amount of money. It, it depends on the individual, and that's what I'm saying with, with the character. It doesn't mean just because you're on vacation, you, you know, you, your money flow stops. You as an individual control that. You can do it, you know, maybe write a book, and then you, you're publishing a book. And then while you're on vacation, the book's making you money. You know, maybe you do investments. And then that stuff's making you money. You know, maybe you go on vacation and, you know, you do a YouTube channel and you, you know, get subscribers and, and you make, make some money there. You know, it's all you as an individual. So when you do something like this, it's wonderful and it's, it's amazing. And the reason, and I'll get into some points on that. And I, I know I'm kind of all over, but, you know, the reason for that is, is it really makes you it, for one you got time you, you're not at work every day you're not doing the same thing you've done for the past five years you've got time and if you want to to use that time you can learn new things like i i go to the beach i go for runs i go dancing with the ladies i go out and have a nice dinner with friends and snorkeling bike riding hiking all that nature sightseeing all of that but then, because it's such a long vacation, you still have your use of time, you know. So I don't use all that partying away and all that. I study and I research the internet, you know. We're connected, world connection here. You know, wow, I'm in Japan, but really I'm connected to, you know, the whole planet. You know, use that because you can still communicate with friends with, with Facebook. You can still do the YouTube channels to, you know... It's work. So really, I'm on vacation, but it, I'm kind of putting, I'm still working to achieve something. And if it's to achieve, you know, inspiring you to take your dream vacation, I mean, that, that it would be amazing to me. Or if you just, if I can motivate you in some way, you know, and, and coming up, I'm, I'm hitting the Philippines, you know, 12, 15 days here. I'll be heading to the Philippines, and a bunch of videos there. It'll, it'll probably be sunnier, you know, because it's rained a lot in Japan here, and the typhoons and everything. But I'm going to take you, and I'm going to show you these multiple islands you can visit, these people that you can meet. You know, right now I'm kind of a little secluded right now, and in the foothills of Okinawa, Japan, but once I get to the Philippines, I'm going to be in Manila for at least a week, and I'm going to meet a bunch of people there, and I'm going to show you, you know, just the wonder, hopefully it's not a polluted city, 
but freaking the wonderfulness of just, you know, I've never been there before. I, I don't know anybody there. So when I get there, just everything's going to be a learning experience. And what I caution you with is just take your time. Don't be jumping all over the place all, and you don't know where anything is or what, what you know, because then you make, make some mistakes. When you do get to these countries, slow down, take your time at the airport, find like, okay, this is the currency exchange, this is the taxi, this is the bus, I can, you know, because the simple things will get extremely hard. Something as simple as like paying a bus fare. Well, you're doing it in another country. You don't know the currency, so you got to study up on that. So you're going to learn that. You got to figure out some way of communicating. I suggest a calculator. Everybody understands numbers if you don't speak the same language. And then you just you just do it. And just stumbling into that, it's and it's going to take a little longer. It's going to be frustrating. It might take you an hour to figure out how just to take the bus, and the bus is only a half an hour hour long that that stuff happens but remember you're not you're not in america you're not in your home country so you're going to run into these things so plan properly give yourself the time available to be able to do that and and that builds your character with patience that builds your your character with proper planning and you can incorporate all these wonderful things and to your daily life because you're, you're gaining life experience world experience you're seeing things that most people will probably never see because i know individuals they just live in their hometown all their lives and there's nothing wrong with that but i encourage you to get out and see the world because what you're going to learn from that and the experience that you're going to get is going to be amazing so i know i i'm just kind of going here but it's wonderful time. You get off and, and you, you start hiking and you, you notice the nature. You're going to see plants you've never seen before. You're going to see animals you've never seen before. You're going to get curious. At least that's what happens with me. And I, I go back and I, and I look this stuff up. What is that? What, what kind of bird is that? What kind of plant is that? You know, why, is, why does it rain so much here? Why, why is it so dry here? You know, all, all these questions and you see a different part of the world and how they experience things. And they've got a lot of great ideas. I absolutely would love for all the countries to take all their great ideas and pull it into, you know, one one big pool of everybody uses the great idea, if it fits that local area, because there is a reason why they do it in a certain area. Because maybe the resources, or maybe they got the resources, but it's just a mountainous area instead of a flat area. It's a dry area instead of a wet area tropical instead of desert you know you see why the region is like that and why the people do what it is they do and you learn that you have a greater appreciation and it you don't look at it as a difference anymore with oh i don't understand them and you know they're, they're just stupid people and they do do things a stupid way and they probably think the same about you know your country but you know and we make fun of each other for that which is completely wrong because it doesn't doesn't bring people together and it creates division so you know you, you get out of that like like every country i've went to i tell people oh i'm going to japan oh okay that, that's good oh i'm going to the philippines oh you, well you need to be careful in the philippines or you go to thailand well you need to, to watch yourself in thailand but really every country i've ever been to you know all these horror stories that you hear from from people that's never been to the country you know, you get there and the people are wonderful. The people are nice. I'm not saying you're going to run into problems or you, there's not going to be bad areas. Because there is. And that's where you got to keep your head as well and kind of look down situational awareness. Who's around you? Why Why are they there? If somebody comes up and talks to you, why are they talking to you? What, like, no, you know, what what's, what's the deal? Are they, or do you know the culture? Are they just friendly people or are they trying to distract you so their buddy can rob you? You know, you, you gotta you gotta be aware of some of this stuff. And that's what you learn. And and I'm not saying, you know, five months is a long time, a year's a long time. You might run into trouble. But then you handle it 
as a man, as a woman, and that experience in itself will make you better. So, you know, I that's why I just encourage you. You know, I'm not saying, you know, if, if you're sitting there and, you know, you got $100 in the bank account and bills that, that, that can't be paid, no, don't take the vacation. But I encourage you to work your tail off, to put in the hard work, the dedication, to overcome those obstacles to where you can do something like your dream vacation or whatever it is you want to do. You want to open up your business. You never want to go on vacation. That, that's your choice. I'm just using it as an example. So use that as a momentum to achieve whatever you want to achieve. And if it happens to be your dream vacation and you go to 15 different countries over two years, you are an incredible individual. Because just to be able to do something like that, the management skills alone, the freaking just what you'd have to learn just to be able to do it, dealing with the airports, dealing with transportation to and from, how are you going to do this? How are you going to get here? How are you going to get there? You're going to learn. And then I, I encourage you, challenge, push yourself a little more. When you get over there, you know, use, use everything that you've got. I'm, I'm using the computer here. I'm, I'm doing this online with YouTube, with YouTube videos and, and just that alone. While I'm on vacation, I've, in, I've learned an incredible amount. And just read, hit the reading, hit learn, and, and grow whatever it is that you want to do. Because you have the time to do it. You take away the time. If you're an individual and you have 10 kids and, you know, you can't earn the income to support those kids, you're not going to take your dream vacation because you're not going to have the time. Don't put yourself in a situation like that. If you're going to have kids, at least plan ahead of time. And that, that's what I'm getting at with the vacation here. You can take a five-month vacation. That takes planning. Well, then you, you might want to have a family later on. You might want to go on vacation with a family. Well, all that takes planning. And getting pissed or drunk and just going out and, wow, you happen to get laid that night. and You're so happy and you feel like the man or you feel like the woman. Well, then the next day you got her pregnant or if you're a woman you are pregnant well hey you know you just changed your entire life so you know and now you might not be able to build the business that you could have if you just planned it a little better and said hey you know i, I want to have a family maybe later on five ten years from now after i've gone to work for maybe 10 15 years whatever and built established yourself to where you can sustain yourself to where, and you, if you give yourself that time, it is incredible. And what I mean by that is, is, you know, just plan it out. You know, don't have, don't do crazy things like, you know, you, you just got so drunk you blacked out, or you went off and you, you knocked a girl up and you got her pregnant. Because it's all with planning. And that's what I mean, where life is not perfect. So you have to overcome these imperfections learn life learn yourself learn your strengths learn your weaknesses work on it each and every day so you can accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish in life you can accomplish your goals you can you can knock it out it doesn't matter oh you know say say, say you want to go vacation to italy for a month okay well you've eliminated all the obstacles you've accomplished everything you, you can afford it. You've got the time to do it. You're healthy enough to do it. You have your business, your family, everything back home in order to where you can do it. And, you know, just look at it. And, and I look at myself as well because, okay, I took a five-month vacation. Why can I not take a 10-year vacation? That is my lack of freaking initiative, my laziness, my lack of freaking being the go-getter that maybe I should... There's been, been days I've slept until noon because I've been out partying all night. I'm not saying I, I, I do it all the time, but I, you need to know, and you can take it to the moon. If you get up every day and you bust your tail and you get up at five and you really work and read and study and, you know, you don't go out drinking and you freaking work on whatever your goal is, you'll achieve it. Then, you know, if you throw a day of partying in there. And then if you throw two days of partying in there in the week or three days or four days, 
And then that just sets you back. You know, even tonight, I'm going to go out with friends. And, you know, I could have achieved more if I stayed in and I read a book or if I studied the YouTube videos or how, how to make maybe a better video with better lighting. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know someone's going to talk about that. Oh, look, look at Alan. Alan made another YouTube video and the lighting was poor. Well, hey, I'm also on a five month vacation in Japan here in the foothills of Japan. So, you know, and that's what I mean, where everything's not perfect. You work with what you've got. I can make a video. I made it. And later on, I'll get better because I'm getting experience doing this, making this video. And hopefully you're getting something out of it, you know, or sit down and talk. I mean, and see what you can achieve in life. And you just roll and you just, it compounds. You know, you learn something. The, the mo If you sat down and you read a page or a book in a, in a day, in a week, you know, then that, if you're quicker at it, you can read two books, you can read three books, four books. And then you've learned that as soon as you learn something, you're going to start, it's going to pay dividends immediately. And the younger you learn it, which is why, you know, you young individuals, you know, I am 37, but I, I encourage you 20 year olds and you teenagers to freaking don't waste your time because if you learn it, there's a difference if somebody learns it at 15 years old and he uses that knowledge the rest of their life than if they learned it at 90 years old, you know, there, there's a point. So as fun as it is to, you know, I'm not saying don't go outside and play or hang out with your friends or go out, you know, partying or drinking if you're of age. But, you know, there's a difference between a 20 year old or a teenager that freaking smokes pot, drinks, you know, goes to work a couple, couple days out of the week and, you know, probably got a couple girls pregnant than an individual that goes to work every day and just maybe a workaholic. I'm not saying go to those extremes where it's a destructive partier and or just a workaholic that works all the time. I'm saying find that happy medium to whatever it is you want to achieve in life. If, if your goal is to be the biggest loser in life, you know, go ahead and do it. You know, don't go to work, do a bunch of drugs, drink, you know, do, do whatever, go out and be a thief. You know what? All those bad things. All, don't go to church. Don't. Don't read the Bible or the Quran or whatever your religion is, you know. Don't follow, don't treat people kindly, you know. Treat treat everyone, you know, just because you don't care. So all that affects your life. And and, and the more you can improve, and you're, you're not going to do the right thing all the time. And you're not going to, you know, when you should have got up at work at, at three in the morning and freaking went to work all day, you know, there's going to be days where you've worked for maybe six months straight and then you're so tired you just happen to sleep in. You know, it happens. But there's a difference between somebody that works six months and they sleep in or they miss a day of work vice somebody that just never goes to work or goes to work once a week and doesn't really do, and, and then the quality of your work. You know, look, look at everything about yourself. You know, the quality, when, when you did something, did you care? Did you put your heart and soul into it? When, when you treat, when, when you interact with people and you socialize, look at yourself. You know, are, are you being nice? Are you upset? Are you mad? Are you happy? You know, and, and, and it's easy when everything's going perfect in your life. It's easy to, okay... You know, everything's, everything's good, you know, but then look at yourself and really focus on when things go wrong in your life. You know, if you have six kids and now you're having trouble feeding them because it just costs so much. Well, for one, you put yourself in that position. Maybe if you had less kids, it wouldn't cost you as much. And then you could feed maybe less kids and have a stronger family with with that line or you know you could have 
20 kids, but you as an individual need to step it up. If you have 20 kids, you probably need to be a genius. You probably have to have a job that pays incredibly well, you know, maybe a million dollars a year with 20 kids. I mean, who knows? They might crack. You know they're going to steal someone's car or freaking do some drugs, get involved with the police, you know, all that stuff that we learn not to do as growing up with our experience that we have because now we're adults. But then look at that as well. When you see these other adults, like, and question yourself, you know, am I being, am I setting a good example? Am I being a good role model? Am I doing the right thing all the time? Well, for one, you're not going to do the right thing all the time. So we, there's stuff that's already known. Don't, don't act like you're a perfect angel. So all I'm saying here is work on yourself and work on self-improvement because it matters and it, it only matters to you. And if you improve yourself, it's going to snowball. People around you, it they're going to they're going to be better because maybe you get you figured out something to be more productive at work or say you're a farmer and you're more productive at farming now you can produce more crops which brings more food which you can sell for more money which you can use for whatever resources that you need the same with you know i go back to the use of time you use your time you learn something where if you don't use your time if you spend the day drinking all day and you didn't learn anything well it, it took a knock on your health and you wasted your time and you have less resources at the end of the day because you consumed all day and you didn't produce, you didn't do anything. You didn't, you know, even though I'm on a five month vacation, at least, you know, you might not get anything out of this video, but at least I'm trying and I'm working on it and I'm learning from it. And my next video is going to be better. And I, I encourage you to stay tuned because there's going to be a lot more videos on Japan. There's going to be a lot more videos on the Philippines and every, every, every day there. And I encourage you as an individual, accomplish your goals in an imperfect life. Rise up and be the man, be the woman, be the couple, be the family, be the community, be the country, be the countries that work well with other countries. Is it not great, especially right now, where, you know, every, to me, everyone's getting along. You know, we just went through a bad period where, you know, the countries didn't get along and there was conflict and, and all this. But if we put all that aside, you can still spend uh, trillions of dollars on the military and never go to war with each other. That's fine because it gives people jobs. And, you know, let them do their thing because they're learning something. You know, but there's we don't have to go to war. We can take the time and produce and go and learn and figure out the things we need to do to have enough resources to build trillions of electric cars that fly off of solar power you know what whatever maybe turn the deserts into a big solar field so we don't have to cut down the limited amount of trees that we have on this planet because there's no other there's no more trees that i can tell in in the universe unless there's some planet that obviously we haven't discovered but, you know, each tree that we cut down, that tree's been there millions of years, and now it's gone. It's not producing air, something we actually need to survive. So, like, look at all these things. Be the individual that solves that problem, that can produce. And in order to do that, we've got to be good. We have to be good. And if we're bad, that means we're probably not good. And it's probably contributing to our demise somehow. So I encourage you to be the best person you can be with yourself, with your community, with your family, with your country, and with other countries. Because when we use the great resources that we have of time, energy, productivity, efficiency, and learn more, then we have more at the end of the day. So Pick up a book and read something. It can be on whatever you want to accomplish in life. And let's make it happen for ourselves. And let's make each day better for ourselves and for our community, for our family, for our country. So you can do 
whatever it is that you want. You can get up and have enough food. You can get into a car and drive wherever you need to and have the fuel or the energy source to move that platform. And then see where you can take it. Because even though something's good, you can always make it better. And you can always make it worse. So, you know, there's progression and there's regression. So two steps forward, let's continue to move forward. So you can take a two-year vacation with a family of 15 and be able to afford it because they're all little geniuses that are solving 20 problems a day, major problems that contribute very effectively with, you know, the resources that they have with the internet, with communication. They're making a YouTube video in an hour because it's so easy and they do it all the time and then they go off and they jump into a huge, you know, machinery that's a tractor or whatever it is that they're, they're doing and it just produces so much productivity that it overcomes the challenges of you know life getting old freaking you know disease you know all these problems and then loss you know even though you've got enough resources and your family's doing great well then someone passes away well now there's a lot of hurt that's a distraction and I'll be honest, when you get older, you lose a lot of people. You see the older people, they pass away. When I was growing up, I, I used to always think about the World War II guys because there was a lot of them around. And then about, you know, I don't know, in, in early 2000, that's 6 through 10, I think all of them passed away. Now they're gone. All the knowledge that they had, that I always walked by them. I never talked to them. You know, I, I'd always go, yep, those, there's the World War I guys. And walk by them because they were 90 years old, never stopped and talked to them. But then now they passed away and now they're gone. And that, that individual might have traveled to 70 different countries and had all the knowledge on all the, the jacked up things that I've done with the travel and the mistakes that have cost me more with time, energy, effort to where I had a little more of a miserable time instead of a productive time, a, a funner time, or maybe new a funner place where I'm hanging out in the middle of nowhere and you know all I had to do was go over the mountain and there was the party zone or there was the hangout or there was you know where all the girls were if you're a girl there's where all the guys were what, what, whoever you want to hang out with there's that that's the place that they were at so you know take advantage of the resources that you have the people that you have around you make connections and when you go on the, that, that's what I look at, you know, look at all the people in the world that I'm never going to meet. And that's why I try and work my tail off. And yeah, I cannot go to every country and I cannot go on vacation for my entire life. But maybe I can. Maybe this YouTube channel will take off and I can maybe get a better camera and get quality, better quality videos and just freaking, but that's up to me to do so and if I, I move in that direction but I might not want to I might want to stop and have a family okay then that's less time for YouTube videos if it's a horrible video you're probably like oh thank God thank God he's not gonna make another one but if if you do get something out of it then you might be like oh well now now Alan's with his family and he can't make you know seven videos a week so you know Keep that in mind as well. As you get into other things, it's going to take your most precious asset, which is time, away from the things that you are doing. So that's where you got to be better. You know, you got to stop traveling the world for five or five, six different countries for five, six months and focus on building a family. And if you don't want that, then you just continue. And if you want to travel the world and not have a family or travel the world with a family, then you have to become that individual to be able to make that happen, to be able to bring in the resources to either travel for a long period of time with your family, multiple countries. You know, I would say you're going to need to be a genius come up with the resources to be able to fund something like that. And that 
in itself is what I mean with you build yourself with the character, with the hard work, the dedication, and, you know, the amount of reading, with the amount of work, with the amount of studying, with the amount of, you know, connections and communication with other people to do these things, to be able to make whatever it is your dream come true in an imperfect world. And I'll leave you with that. Like and subscribe. Thank you for your time and have a good time.